okay so first uh, to run this application I'll go in my terminal and type fast run so this is a simple e-commerce web application a very simple module so here we see that it is it is running on uh, 500 so let's go there and see so here you can see that it is a simple index view where all the merchants who have posted their products that it is available here so if you're a merchant you can click on are you a merchant and this sign up form uh, will be displayed so let's sign up i'm gonna sign up as debbie okay so here uh, we are given two options do you want to add a product or you want to add it a product so i would definitely want to add a new product because i haven't added any so here is my add product form and so here i would want to add let's say a food product that will be a sweet And let's say its description will be no artificial sugar and this will be its price range I think uh, 100 to 500 and no comments I would want to give it now let's just add the image and add the product now and we see here that the product is added so now if i want to uh, add it my product this is the product that i want to add it so i'll only be shown the product that i have added i'll not be shown the products of other merchants so if i want to add it the product i'll click on this link and an other added product form will be displayed so maybe i just want to change its price i want to make it from of 500 to uh, 1000 and then let's say done and okay comments are required so I'm gonna say very tasty so here product is added it. now um, I would want to um, log out and i want to log in as another merchant so suppose i'm going to log in as maria let's try to log in as tom because tom was already being created so so now Tom was an already uh, registered user so if I want to add it, Tom's product so these are the products that Tom has added so I can add it all these products now so another thing is that you might have seen the added link here that is like added and slash the ID of the product so suppose if I want to add ID number one of the product so this will be displayed so yeah this will be displayed though it is not the product of tom it is another product so suppose if i want to add it this one and i'll say done then it will say that you're not authorized to edit this product and an error will be shown and i'll go back to my old page so this is just one of the things for security reason now this is my code in application.py and here you can see that what i've been using here on line of code 23 it is a static path for the files that i have added uh, the images and everything and this is a sign up form that is displayed here so and here is a security check if passwords are not matching then 
The error template will be displayed saying passwords do not match. This is also for security reason, hashing passwords and this is full name username that will be uh, taken from when the form is submitted and this is uh, I'm trying to add a new uh, new uh, user. So if an, uh, an uh, exception will be generated here, I'll be taken here saying the username already exists because in my database I've specified that usernames are unique. So if there is an exception, this error template will be accessed rendered. So now uh, coming on to the login, here you can see that first we need to clear this session. Uh, the old user will be um, cleared whoever was in the session and then I'm gonna check if the passwords match or not if passwords do not match then there will be uh, an uh, error and also if there is no result that means that no uh, no row was being accessed when I tried to use the command query dot filter by username equals username that is there is no user with this username that is you are not registered with this username or also if passwords do not match then i'm going to render error template and if everything went well then on line of code 65 i'm going to store the session username as result.username to know which user is um, currently being logged in and then i'll redirect to the home page and remember that home page is the home page of the merchant and if uh, you are not a merchant and you just want to show the uh, view the interface then that will be the index page not the home page and so this is the logout route here that is going to clear the session and i'll be redirected to the login route so here on the index that is viewing all the products it does not require you to be logged in to view all products whereas in the home page in line of code 82 you are required to be logged in to uh, add a new product or edit any old product. Now, similarly, let's just go down and see what's here. Here, uh, I'm taking all these from the um, uh, from the form, and here what I've done is I've just stored the file name in. Uh, the database and all those files that is all the images that the merchant is uploading are being stored here in this static slash images folder and here you can see that i've added the new product and committed my changes and you can see that i've rendered the home page again and with a message called product added and now let's just go down and see here you can see the added the added interface that is when we we want to edit a uh, new um, an existing product we want to add it an existing product we need to have the id of the product we are passing it as a parameter but this also requires to be logged in if you're not logged in that is if you're not a merchant or you are not authorized to add it the product it will just take you back to the um, index page not it will not take you to the home page it will take you to the index page and here to edit the products what I'm doing is firstly I'm just taking uh, that uh, product ID that was sent via this route and then I'm just fetching out if that product exists. So if that product exists just store it in the result and if the request method is false that is the edited version or the edited form is being submitted then what you gotta do is you gotta first see that if uh, the username that is if the person who's trying to who's who is trying to uh, you know add this product is same as what is being stored with the product because you can see in my models.py i have for security reasons i added this column called username that we will be very uh, careful uh, to see that the product that is added by the merchant the same merchant should be able to add that product and no other merchant should try to add that product and similarly we can just see here that if everything went well then you just gotta commit the changes and you just uh, send it uh, render the template home.html saying that the product was added it also i want to show you my home.html that is the view of 
the person who is a merchant and who is logged in and in and index.html is just for viewing products if you just want to view products you are not a merchant you just want to view products you can just come on this slash route that is the uh, very um, basic route and then added.html that is the form that if you're editing a product this will be displayed and in my model supply i have two models the user model and the product model the user model is actually the merchant who is trying to um, uh, you know uh, add products or added products that is the user model and in the product also there is uh, a product ID category name and also a username column here so that you can know that okay this is the same user who, who is trying to add other products and index it is very it is very small um, it's not quite large that is because uh, that is only the function I'm using when I'm clicking on the two tabs that do you want to add this product or you want to add a new product that is where I viewed it use the uh, use the um, JavaScript and style is very simple and login that HTML that is the same but from a layout that HTML that is from here, I'm just um, do not have to specify all these things again and again. So I've just used the layout.html and similarly the sign a form that was split before. Thank you.